Fragment of the Elegy on the Death of Adonis by Percy Bysshe Shelley From the Greek of Bion I mourn Adonis dead, loveliest Adonis, dead, dead Adonis, and the love's lament. Sleep no more, Venus, wrapped in purple woof. Wake, violet-stoled queen, and weave the crown of death, tis misery calls, for he is dead. The lovely one lies wounded in the mountains, his white thigh struck with the white tooth. He scarce, yet breathes, and Venus hangs in agony there. The dark blood wanders over his snowy limbs, his eyes beneath their lids are lusterless. The rose is fled from his wan lips, and there, that kiss is dead, which Venus gathers yet. A deep, deep wound, Adonis, a deeper Venus bears upon her heart. See, his beloved dogs are gathering round. The Oread nymphs are weeping. Aphrodite, with her hair unbound, is wandering through the woods. Wilder, ungirt, unsandaled, the thorns pierce. Her hastening feet and drink her sacred blood. Bitterly screaming out, she is driven on through the long veils, and her Assyrian boy, her love, her husband, calls the purple blood. From his struck thigh stains her white navel now, her bosom and her neck before like snow. Alas for Cytherea, the loves mourn, the lovely, the beloved is gone, and now her sacred beauty vanishes away. For Venus, whilst Adonis lived, was fair. Alas, her loveliness is dead with him. The oaks and mountains cry, Ay, ay, Adonis! The springs, their waters change to tears and weep. The flowers are withered up with grief. Ay, ay, Adonis is dead. Echo resounds, Adonis is dead. Who will weep not thy dreadful woe, O Venus? Soon as she saw and knew the mortal wound of her Adonis, saw the lifeblood flow from his fair thigh now wasting, wailing loud, she clasped him and cried, Stay, Adonis, stay, dearest one, and mix my lips with thine. Wake yet a while, Adonis, oh, but once, that I may kiss thee now for the last time. But for as long as one short kiss may live, Oh, let thy breath flow from the dying soul, even to my mouth and heart, that I may suck that.